Yo, what it do? Hope y'all can hear me. I'm on this loud truck. I'm on my way to uh, go get some groceries. You know what I'm saying? Uh, man, from last night to this morning, I, I, I feel so much better than what I did, you know, the last few days. And, you know, this morning I wake up, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm at it, I'm at it, you know what I'm saying, I'm cleaning the truck, I'm getting, I'm getting stuff ready, and, uh, you know, waiting on my partner to get there, uh, he's not there, I uh, wanted to make a video for Say Cheese this morning, so I'm doing my personal video, but, um, you know, you gotta want it, man, you can't just lay around and want something to happen, don't no business owner, uh, Wake up at 9, 10 o'clock. Ain't no business owners out here getting to work at 9, 30, 10 o'clock. You gotta be up and getting it. You know what I'm saying? And, and really, true life, if you want it, should nobody have to tell you that. You know what I'm saying? If you really want it, I don't care how much you party. I don't care. I done party with the best of them. Snorting cocaine, drinking. I'm up and I'm going to get it every morning y'all gotta want it though you know what I'm saying y'all gotta want it I'm not where I need to be nowhere near, nowhere near where I need to be but a brother I went to Bible study last night and the brother said if you if you want to collapse shit and it, it, it collapses and you gotta swim to safety If you give up right before you get to shore, you're no different than those who gave up back there. <laughs> you're no different. It don't matter how far you go. You got to get to the end first. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? You got to make it to the end. Consistency. I don't, I don't. Because my rent is too much behind, or my lecture bill is on disconnect, I don't, I don't say, well, it ain't gonna matter what time I get up this morning. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it by any means necessary. It's, it's consistency. It's repetition. You gotta want it, though. I'm just so happy for one to know God because I, last week I was weary in a mug I was weary I was like what if I'm what if all this is for nothing at some point I think I even questioned God and I was I was in my meeting last night and I understand, I get it. I get why people out here is just like, man, I don't know what I'm doing. But then I went over in my head that what else do we have? We don't have nothing else. You got the oldest book in the world that has done nothing but prophesy about things that scientists have verified. Therefore, we know that these things has happened and these things are true. We'll read somebody else's book and say that's law. The scribes and the Pharisees, I know I'm all over the place, but I'm gonna put it together in a minute. The scribes and the Pharisees, when Christ was here on earth, Six days before he died, they knew he was the savior. They knew that the things that they were doing in the church and amongst the people, they knew it was wrong. They still chose to do something different. They still chose to do things their own way, to serve God their own way. The scribes and uh, Pharisees said, 
tell these people to pipe down, be quiet. They was yelling, chanting for Jesus because they knew that that was their savior. And Christ said, this is prophesied. We know this is to be true today. He was like, this is, this is a part of prophecy. If I tell these people to be quiet, the rocks would scream out. <laughs> The rocks would scream out because this is prophecy. This is going to happen. The Bible speaks on things that's going to happen. So as these days draw near, we see the world the way that it is. We can't give up. We got to keep going. You got to keep believing. And he most definitely don't give you nothing that you can't bear. It's hard. It's hard out here. Whatever struggle, whatever battle you going through, it's hard. I know it's hard. I'm a living example that it's hard. But you got to keep going. These things that's going on right now is prophesied. The things that's in Revelation speaks about is the things that's happening right now before our very eyes. That's not a coincidence, folks. So for one, for one, you can try to make the book that he gave us the only communication besides prayer and meditation. He gave us to, to be able to navigate through life. You either read it and apply it to your life and allow that peace to flow through you and understand that he said, we don't have nothing to be worried about. The way that the world is, we don't have nothing to be worried about. Nothing. Nothing to be worried about. These things are possible. These things are going to happen. Put yourself in a position where you're not affected by the things that's going on in this world. Put yourself in that position. Do what you're supposed to do. I'm so... I just, I don't know, I, I've, I've gotten so many realizations. Things are so real to me now. Especially after I, as I start to let go, let go of things. You know, uh, things are so real to me now. Um, and, and, and I'm able to understand it. So I'm glad that I stopped. I'm glad that I stopped all the things that I was doing, that was affecting my body, that would keep me from being here to receive the blessings that that uh, that the Bible speaks of, that, that that God talks to us about. I'm happy to be able to talk to you all about it, and uh, talk to you all about my change, my growth. It's, uh, it helps us all, you know what I'm saying? It helps us all. And, uh, you know, you just got to keep going. We got to keep going, you know what I'm saying? We're no better than the person that stopped back there. You got to go to the end. Don't slow down now. Don't stop doing what you're supposed to be doing now. When you get up and you get up in the morning, do it with a smile on your face. Be happy, energized, ready to go do it. When you lay down at night, night, provide that peace for yourself. Pray. He answers prayers. I'm talking about one day I was praying and I said, reveal yourself. This is a true story. And this happened like a couple times. One time, it was just me walking down the street. A brother come up to me and was talking to me. The second time, I got a knock at the door. I'm just going to leave it at that. Hey, y'all, subscribe to the channel. I know it's a little short video, but um, I got to go. I'm late. I was waiting on my partner so we can make the video, but uh, I got to go. I got to go up in this grocery store, get some groceries, and um, try to make some money today. My rent's been due. Bills need to be paid, and so uh, I'm at it, and I'm going to keep going. I love y'all. Keep the faith. Subscribe to Say Cheese Food Truck Channel. Subscribe to My Life, My Journey. 
um, support small business support say cheese we really appreciate you all all the people that have supported us and uh man i'm out peace